Felder here, and today I want to talk to you about this large first aid kit, and it certainly is large, brought to you by a company called Survivewear. I have a uh, smaller version, or actually the first first aid kit that Survivewear put out, and it's been part of my gear uh, ever since I reviewed it. Definitely good to go. And uh, recently within my uh, Warrior Zero project, we have uh, had an influx of members coming in, which is a great thing. But when we do go on our uh, outings, I figured that my smaller first aid kit just wasn't uh, enough to accommodate the, uh, the number of people that would be on these outings. So I searched Amazon, came across this large first aid kit by Survivewear, uh, recognized the name, was happy with the previous purchase, so I decided to pick them up. So let's get into a bit of detail on this large first aid kit. The first thing you'll notice about this kit is the actual case. Uh, it is really built to last, uh, water resistant at 600 veneer, and just built really, really well. Um, all sorts of fasteners to make sure that everything on the inside is retained. There's webbing here to connect to uh, Molly system, your Molly setup. Uh, the zippers are very good to go, uh, very strong, uh, not something that feels like uh, you're going to use it a couple times and it's going to dissolve in your hand like other kits that I've uh, come across. Uh, various handles. You have straps here, once again, to attach to your pack or attach whatever gear that you are utilizing. And it also has this Velcro setup here that you can go ahead and just pretty much remove the backing. And then, oop, that was loud. And basically this could attach to the back of a headrest on cars, uh, in your trunk, uh, things like that. So when it comes to this case, uh, definitely the options and the versatility is uh, certainly or are certainly there. Now, as we still uh, focus on the case here, one of the things that was definitely uh, a huge benefit that I found in the first aid kit that I reviewed from Survivewear, and this one is uh, set up the same exact way, is the way that it's labeled here on the inside. Uh, as you're aware of, if uh, something goes awry, especially in an emergency, loved one, things of that nature, your heart is beating through your chest, you're nervous, you're sweating, and uh, you're not going to be thinking clearly. And being able to have everything labeled here from major wounds, wound cleaning, eye pads, wound closures, to uh, shears, so on and so forth, just makes everything that much easier and uh, gets that treatment going that much quicker. And, uh, you know, obviously the uh, patient will bode that much better. What I like about these components also is that they are quality. Uh, a lot of the kits that we see out there that are even more expensive or priced higher than this one all have uh, all sorts of items and maybe even contain more items, but then you go and touch these items and once again, it feels like they are gonna fall apart or dissolve in your hands, let alone be able to uh, treat an open wound or whatever you're trying to accomplish with the first aid situation. And one of the things that I usually do when I do pick up a new kit is I try out their band-aids or let's say their, their um, wound closures, uh, so to speak, and I'll test them out and uh, gives me a good idea of the quality of the rest of the stuff. Not only that, but it's one of the things that I tend to use the most while I'm out in the field, uh, you know, even with myself or of course with uh, Warrior Zero Project members and whether it's treating blisters or just scrapes, so on and so forth. So uh, once again, I utilized one of the ones that were in here as far as the adhesive bandages and uh, they were certainly good to go. So, and it kind of uh, goes with the rest of the material that we have here that uh, once you do pick it up, you're like, hey, there is something to this. This is uh, some quality stuff, not the, uh, typical garbage that you find in many of the kits that are available these days. So as you can tell, there are a ton of items in here, but even as you look at the shears and everything like that, they are stainless steel. They are good to go. There's some consistency into them. They're not going to break the first time that you're using them. So uh, that goes for pretty much all the components that we have in here. And the other cool thing that they do throw in is a mini first aid kit. So when you are out there and let's say this one might stay in your vehicle uh, because it is bulkier, not that it's heavy and you decide to say, well, I'm just going out on a trail, let me bring something small with me. There's pretty much one of everything in here that you would need for a quick day trip uh, on the trail or on some other outing. Uh, so uh, great little benefit. Once again, a little quality piece also, not just some flimsy uh, item that they threw in here to uh, constitute as extras. There are obviously way too many items for me to list here, so make sure that you take a look at the uh, blog post. It's in the description below and I'll provide much more detail and specifications, so on and so forth. So bottom line, if you are in the market for a good first aid kit, a large first aid kit that'll accommodate you and pretty much everybody else that you are with, uh, take a look at this one by Survivewear. Their uh, products have served me well in the past, and I have no doubt that this large uh, first aid kit will serve me, as well as my family, friends, and uh, members 
very well for years to come. This is Helder. I hope that you enjoyed this review.